Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson again, and we are going to use our solve button on the TI-84+. Plus. Here are your steps. Step 1, press 2nd and 0 to get the catalog menu. Step 2, press 4. Step 3, press the up arrow to see the word solve with a parenthesis. Step 4, press enter. Step 5, Type inside the parenthesis your equation, comma, variable, comma, and your guess, and close the parenthesis. Then press enter. So you should note the solve button can be used to solve any equation that are equal to zero. Here's your calculator format, solve, parenthesis, equation, comma, there is a comma button. There's a variable you have to solve for, comma, and your guess and close parenthesis. So let's try a question. So here's our first question. We got negative 64 plus 4 equals 34. All right, so let's use that. Okay, I got my calculator. So second, zero, that gives you the catalog. Notice the catalog lists everything that's in the calculator's menu. So it starts at the letter A, but we're going to press number 4 because solve is down here by the letter T. Now we're going to press the up arrow till we get to the word solve with the parenthesis. Notice we're in the letter S, and there is solve right there. So solve. So we're going to press enter, and now we have to type in our equation. We want the equation equal to 0, so that means we're going to have to set this equal to zero. So let's put this equation, make it equal to zero by taking 34 from both sides, minus 34. So I know the 34s will cancel out and make that equal to zero. Over here, usually I would take the negative 66x and combine the 4 and the negative 34, but I'm not. I'm going to put plus 4 and make that a minus 34 and let the calculator do the work for me. So here is my equation. Now I'm going to type it into the uh, calculator. So negative 6, there's an X button up here next to alpha, plus 4. And minus 34. There's my equation. Notice it's equal to zero. So now all I have to do is now press the comma button because I have my equation in. Move this over a little bit. And my a, a, my variable is x, so that's next to the alpha button. Press comma again. And now I have to take a guess. I'm gonna guess the number 10. And Close the parenthesis, and now the calculator is going to tell me the answer to this question. And the answer is negative 5. So let's check it to be sure. And you remember, the equation was negative 6x. So I'm going to type negative 6. In place of x, I'm going to put negative 5. And that was plus 4. And this should equal to 34, I believe. Yes, it said negative 6x plus 4 equals 34. So if this is negative 5 is correct, then our answer when we type in our smart our calculator should be 34. And yes, it does equal 34. So the calculator took this equation when we set it equal to 0 by subtracting 34 from both sides and typing in our variable and our guess. Our uh, answer is negative 5. So we know that is by checking it for sure by resubstituting into this problem. So our answer was negative 5. And let's scroll down a little bit. And there it is, negative 5. So nice job. Here's another question. Uh, which value of x is the solution to the equation 13 minus 36x squared this time equals negative 12? So let's write this down and get this equal to 0. So negative 36x squared equals negative 12 or minus 12. 
So I'm going to add 12 to both sides. Add 12 over to here. Now normally I would take my 13 and add 12 to give me 25, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say 13 plus 12 minus 36 x squared. And the 12s cancel out equaling to 0. So what's nice is one of my answers has got to be one of these multiple choice question answers here. So uh, let's see which one of them is right by using our graphing calculator. So let's clear this first. And what's nice is I can go up and get it back if it was there somewhere. I had it somewhere there. So let's clear this. So clear again, clear again, clear again. Let's go down because I'm not clearing for some reason. Alright, let's see if we can clear. Alright. So gotta get solved again because I know you can go up and you should be able to get it. So second zero. Let's type number four for T. And now we go up. So we get to solve. Keep going. Almost there. There it is. So now let's we're gonna type this equation 13 plus 12 minus 36x squared. So we got a quadratic this time, huh? Not a linear equation, so exponent is equal to 2. So if you remember linear equations have exponents of 1, quadratics have exponents of 2, meaning that their ex uh, quadratic has two possible answers. So let's put a comma here, because it's now equal, back to equal to 0. We're solving for the letter x, and let's put a comma. Again, take a guess. So it's probably one of those fractional answers, but I'm just going to pick again the number 10. Close my parenthesis, and my answer is this. So I have a decimal. Let's see if we can change that to a fraction. So by pressing math, one, number one, we're going to take our answer and turn it into a fraction. And there it is, five, six. Let's see if that choice is there. No, it's not there. Hmm. Well, I'm going to type this. Let me see if I can go up again. There it is. I got it this time. I'm going to type it again. So I typed it again, but I remember quadratics are questions that, equations that have two possible answers. One is usually positive, and the other one is usually, usually negative. So I'm going to try a negative 10, because 5, 6 will work. Let me try negative 10, because uh, I see it could be a negative answer. So let's see. Oh, this time I get the same thing, but a negative 8.333 repeating. And let's change that to a fraction by pressing math, the number 1 fraction, changing that answer to a decimal. Until, from a decimal to a fraction, and we get negative 5, 6. And I think that answer is there. I think that was the fourth one. Yes. So our answer is choice answer 4, negative 5, 6. So choice 4. So that was a good question. So we used our calculator instead of factoring and solving this the hard way. Just let the calculator do the work. So check your understanding. I hope you understand what's going on. If you're not certain, write down your questions, bring them in. I'll be glad to talk to you about it in class. So remember, uh, Mirando Mira a la Dr. Robinson on YouTube. Mi nombre de canal es Dan Robinson. Watch Dr. Robinson on YouTube. My name, my channel name is Dan Robinson. Uh, yo tengo uno nuevo. Lanzamiento. Uh, my new release is Peak Skill um, PKMS Math Prep 18. It's my new release. You could subscribe, subscribe here. Uh, you could tweet me at DRobMath1. So let us know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. So good luck on your test. 
I hope you do well and I hope you got something out of the video. Again, write us a comment and let us know if we're helping or not helping. Bye-bye.